Spear Fishing Vlog 18. Recycling dudes here. Morning, Ash. Good morning. Are you ready for school? Yes. Daycare first? Yes. Is it go time? Yes. Beautiful day here in Ontario. The sun is shining. Emma's late. It's kind of the same day as every day. New bed today. Got to wait for that. And we're going to make sure that bow's good to go. It's go time. All right, the kids are off to school. I got two and a half hours before Amber's new bed frame comes. It's supposed to be here between 11 and three. There's no way they're gonna be here right at 11. So I gotta be home at the house for that. Right now we're headed East Hill Outdoors to get a new peep, put on my bow. I don't like the one I have. Hopefully that helps with the, the shooting and we will never miss a turkey again. So we're on the road. It's gonna be a good day. Hopefully we get everything done. We get another crack of them gobblers tonight. We're just gonna keep going until we get two. And then we're gonna find somebody else and I'm gonna call in two more for them. And yeah, just keep living the dream. All right, we're at East Hill, the bow shop. Hopefully the good people here are gonna be able to deal with my bow, make it more accurate. Kill more turkey. Right, we're here at East Hill, getting my bow, my new pee put in. Luke's too afraid to talk on camera, so <laughs> we've hired uh, half the staff in here to fix my bow for uh, Luke doesn't have to be in the video. He's gonna get all shaky and snap my bow in half. Luke's we're getting it done, it's almost there. Good work, Luke. All right, I can tie in your peep now. Okay, you got it, Luke? Yep. You ready? The master of disaster right here, tying in my peep. It never ends, man. You could tweak these things till the end of the world, eh? Over and over again. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's ready to go. Just leaving the range, that bow, the new peep has helped quite a bit, tighten my grouping. I should have done that a while ago, I don't know why I didn't. We gotta get home for Amber's bed is on the way. Wanna make sure we're home when that gets delivered or I'll be in big trouble. If the bed comes early, we may run out to Horniak and just do a little bit of shooting outside before we go turkey hunting. This is gonna be a great chance to update the vlog on the website and some of the information on the website today. So, home time. Sit around and wait for a new bed. Right, just got home from the range. It is officially 11 o'clock. The new bed is supposed to be here between 11 and 3, so let's see what time these guys show up. It's a waiting game. Right, it's noon. Still waiting on that bed. Just crushed an hour of uh, nap time. Now we're gonna watch some uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Struggles real waiting for the new bed to come. So much we could be doing outside. It is now one o'clock. Updating fearfishing.com. Putting the new vlogs up, adding some new information. The bed's still not here. I wish I could give timelines like this when people were, you know, needed something from myself or fear fishing and they needed me you know, I'll be there Wednesday between 11 and three. Sit around, wait, no problem, throw your feet up, no rush. Really, really? We couldn't be like 11 or, or noon? Between 11 and noon? Oh, we'll be there between two and three. I'm, it's one o'clock now, exactly one o'clock. I bet you they're not even here by three. I got turkeys to kill. Official time, 2.05. Just got off the phone with Dan Miguel from NPS. She's doing good. The NPS app is still kicking along. Right now, I'm going through Instagram. Seth Fighter, Bassmaster Elite Series. I'm just catching up on some Seth love, giving him some hearts. I'm still waiting on that bed. And from what I see, Seth's catching a lot of big bass. Look at that. What? Make sure you follow at Seth Fighter Fishing on Instagram. Kid's amazing. Still waiting on that bed. I got turkeys to kill. Three o'clock right on the money. The new bed just showed up. Box one, two boxes in the hallway, and another, the, the headboard in the bedroom. It's here, we are good to go. I'm gonna throw some hunting clothes on. We're gonna run out to Mars, take a couple shots of the bow. Then we're going back turkey hunting. <sighs> Killed a big chunk of the day, sitting around waiting for this new bed, and we still have to put it together tonight. All right, we're at Mars Bars. Beautiful day. It's getting warmer by the second. 
We're gonna, I was just listening to the Joe Rogan JRE podcast and he was got Cameron Haynes on today, bow hunting extraordinaire, and I'm fired up. I'm telling you, I'm pumped right now. Shoot my bow, fling some arrows, then down some birds. So we're gonna set up the target. We're gonna do some shooting. feeling pretty good about this. I've been shooting for a bit. I got some of it on film for everybody. I'm feeling good about it, the way my bow is shooting. I don't know how I missed that bird. I really don't know how I missed that bird. My first two shots here, 25 yards were a little low. Maybe that bird was a little farther than I thought it was. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling pumped, I'm motivated. Now, let's go hit the bush, see what kind of gobblers come out of the old cornfield tonight. God, I love bow hunting. Just got back to the truck. It is cold out there, way colder than I expected it to be. No turkey action tonight. They were didn't come within a mile of the blind. There's a house being built, like I said before, in behind me, and they they looked like the hens were gonna make a break for the hay field, and they started throwing two by fours and stuff off the second floor, and all the crashing and banging totally spooked those birds off, and they just basically turned around, and walked the other way. So I'm actually out of here nine minutes early tonight. They're gonna come back, and it's gonna be after shooting hours. I'm gonna get stuck in there. So time to go home. Amber should be home soon and we have to put that bed together. All right, well it took some aches and pains and gotten and groaning, but the new bed is together. It is up. We got new curtains too. It is together, success with the new bed. Magic. Surprisingly how hard those are to put together. Struggle is real. That was worse than an Ikea bed. Well, we got the bed together. We just got home from wing night. Amber and I went out for wings. I just found this in the mailbox. Shooting the bow was amazing today. Turkey hunting was unbelievably slow. I can't believe those birds got so hung up in the field. They never even came close. <sighs> Tomorrow we're off to Toronto in the morning. I gotta visit my mom. We may go to the fishing store. All kinds of good stuff coming up. I'm tired, it's been a long day. I'm gonna hit the hay, then, well, first I'm gonna edit the vlog, then I'm gonna go to sleep, and then tomorrow, it's a new start. Hopefully those gobblers, we can figure them out, get another one close enough to take a shot at. I'm gonna read my Bassmaster magazine and go to sleep. Everybody, thank you all so much for the support. Keep watching, keep sharing with your friends, tell everybody you know about the Fear Fishing Vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow.